solidarity forever. I want to use this uh, opportunity to thank every one of our members from the uh, beginning of this year towards the ending of this year. Uh, it's not easy since from January we talk of a uh, colonial virus which is a uh, COVID-19. From there we talk about uh, answers that's police uh, brutalization uh, with the couple with the bad economics and everything border on uh, our peace workers which are drivers and we have been facing a lot of problem but we thank god that we are alive and we thank god that uh, god spare our life to this uh, present time it's an opportunity for us to be alive and we must appreciate that that's why we are wishing every single of our member happy Christmas and new year in advance it's not easy uh, to make it far to this level uh, beginning of uh, next year we need to come together which is very very important if we want to win this uh, battle uh, individualism of the things it has put in us a lot of problem and uh, we should know that uh, we need to put this industry in a way that everybody enjoying it before we talk of any other things. We appreciate many people with many ideas that they introduce to the system. And um, people should rest assurance that whoever that do the right things will always get the right accolade. We appreciate those people that are backing us and uh, we appreciate everybody. Our unity is not negotiable and uh, our unite is not negotiable. But we need to understand that we have to identify our problem and uh, provide the solutions. This multi uh, solutions to our problem need to stop. Let us know who are those people that they want to establish a company in our industry. Let us know those people they want to be app driver in our company. Let be professionals. With that, we can be able to get headways. What I'm trying to say is that the major obstacle we have in this industry today are those people that they don't know the difference between being a driver's partners and be an app owners. We have to define it if we really want to move forward. And some of us that agents to many app companies, we should define ourselves. We don't need to be mingled and thinking that um, when you mingle together with the rail driver, that the time you can get their loyalties. And those people that they open the association basically because they want to promote apps, we need to define our priorities. And those are the challenges that we have. And these are the areas we need to know that we cannot do this industry like this. From experience we have from America to UK to Canada to Australia to France, 
to Belgium, to Holland, to every part of the world. They are not they are not doing it the way we are doing it in Nigeria. We some people we do the association because they want to form uh have companies. No. What they did is to fight the industry first. Let's get litigations, let, 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 let's get regulation rights, let our senators enact a law so that we protect us. If all these things is not happen, there's no way, there's no way the any other hub can come to this uh, industry and successfully. And I have example. From 2015 to this present time, we know how many indigenous have that are fly, but they can, they cannot hold markets. They are not the market up to today. This is what we are talking about. That how do we solve this problem? The only way we can solve this problem is everybody to fall aligned into the house of unionism. Fall aligned with NOPEA, National Union of Professional Art Based Workers. And if you want to be an app owner, fall aligned with app owners. If you want to be an agent, agents can bring themselves together. So let us separate our professionalism. Let us know where every single person belongs to. It does not mean that when you are driving on this platform and you are an agent to all these app companies, you must mingle with rail drivers. No. These are the challenges we have. Then the issue of regulations, whether we like it or not, from the information we have in Kenya, Kenya will pass a legislation 2021 to regulate the, uh, in the industry in Kenya. Their federal law will pass it to the law. They are by federal, uh, federal senators with passes to the law. So what are we waiting for in Nigeria? What our senator is waiting for? What our House of Rep is waiting for? And we need to plan ahead of time. So the issue is that let us understand first that we need to get a good policy from all these policy makers before anybody can make headway in this industry. That's number one. Number two, we should be professionals in our dealing, in our app companies uh, organization. What I mean is that if you want to be an app owner, be an app owner and stand out. If you want to be an agent, be an agent and stand out. If you want to be a unionist or a fighter, or an organizer, be an organizer and stand out. Then know where everybody among us belongs to. It's because nobody knows where you belong to. That's why the conflict of interest is persistent in our industry. We cannot say because people are looking for money, we now bury integrity, we now bury t uh, dignity, we now bury human rights, we now bury the, uh, the um, employment uh, uh, policy. It cannot happen. It cannot, and it cannot help us. When we started a regulation in uh, Lagos State, which has not even concluded up to now, many people come from different quarters and begin to say a lot of things, like if this industry is okay, they too will not benefit them. Let us know that the history we not forgive every one of us. We are just postponed our evil days. Ask yourself today, how many number of cars they recorded last year? How many number of cars is on their platform this year? Go and check. It will be reduced drastically. And if you look at it very well, you can see that whether we like it or not, either we form a, a unity and bond ourselves together to fight for a policy that will make everybody uh, make money in this industry rather than to fight for the leadership, to fight for the how do I want to you know, make money from the art company 
Or how did I want to get my own app company? I want to begin to make money like Uber and Bolt. We need to understand that we need a policy that will give us guidelines. Even the advanced country that they have a law, they don't have policy that really address all these uh, gigi workers' uh, problem. Even the US, the Canada, the UK, the Australia, the Belgium, the Netherlands, everywhere are trying to, you know, bring out a policy that we, you know, fountain the smooth running of all these uh, gigi worker, especially our companies, every part of the world. So we should realize that. And uh, next year, next year by God's grace, we need to let our policymaker know that they have to look into uh, our company's uh, side and any in industry. Every part of the world, people are in lack a law that will make things easier for their citizens. And that's why we are making noise now. That's why we are trying to tell our government now that they should you know, come up with a legislation that will assist us in this uh, technology uh, transportation uh, network company. So it's very, very important that they understand that and they act on it as quick as possible. I think that many of us that on WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, and uh, Facebook, uh, our commitment must be physical, not only um, active on WhatsApp, Telegram, and uh, Facebook. We must transfer that activeness to a practice in a way that we can be able to achieve big time in this industry. What I'm tr trying to say is that if we cough a strike, let everybody obey the strikes. If we call for protests, let everybody obey the protests. It's not about those people that they call for it. It's about every one of us that we are still doing this business. It does not speak well of an organization for some people to call for strikes and some people will be denied the strikes. So we are not doing our company. We are doing ourselves. That's why many people are died today. Nobody take care of them. Nobody even knows that they die unless their colleagues, unless the people that, you know, they put it on the platform. We have lost a lot of people in this industry. We have lost a lot of soul in this industry. The hard company never care about the welfareism, the welfare of the drivers. And what happened is that because there's no policy, they took, they took, they take driver every day. They take driver every day to their platform. And I call it 360 degree because there's going to be a time that they will not even see anybody recruited into their uh, uh, platform again. But my fear is that the hub company will have make enough of money to use and that fact to go and do another business elsewhere. That's my fear. And that's what we may cause, you know, try to let everybody know now is that this is not time of supremacy. This is not time of who, who, who is this, who is that. This is the time of us to come together. This is the time for everybody to support anything that we make progress. Not all this support me to open the app, to open the app. Many people are agitated today. I know them very well. One, or, one, 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 one way or the others, they are attached to all these uh, app companies. And these are the people, they'll be coming on the WhatsApp, they'll be coming on Telegram and begin to abuse you. For God's sake, you that you are promoting an app, what is your interest? Your interest to make money through that app. So, and you still bold enough and begin to criticize or talk bad of uh, about talk of somebody that is fighting for the interest of the of the drivers. I'm using this opportunity and at the ending of 2020 to appeal to every single driver for our own interest. Let us come together. Let us synergize ourselves. 
we have multiple associations we have multiple um, admins heads we have multiple of many multiple of many things we have many opinions we have many ideology we have short courts we have a lot of people in this industry some of people are making money elsewhere and they will come to the in the industry and be scattering us and the, then people will be suffering i imagine many people will have problem today where they will run to is to the whatsapp or telegram or facebook for assistance imagine you are with junior and uh, the junior is there for you you pay your dues how can that kind of junior we abandon you they will not and they thank god that since 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020, and we are heading to 2021, we have a junior that we are bringing on board, which is National Union of Professional Art Based Workers. It's not easy for us to put this junior to this level. We have established this junior and uh, remain in final conclusion so that we can have the all rights of operations. Uh, we have alliance with international. We are trying to coordinate Africa. Nigeria, let us see the way we can be able to support this. Register with National Union of Professional Art Based Workers and support us. Support yourselves. Support your industry. Support what you want to do. Many people will be talking eh, next year I will be out of this job, upper year I'm out of this job. Many have been in this job for more than three years. And they don't have any authority. If I thought you fly out of Nigeria to any part of the world, which me, I know because of my networking to these things, if you are still going there to do this kind of work, you will still find it difficult. Rather than for us to join us together, now that we have opportunity to, to fight for our rights, to fight a policy, to fight for a policy to assist us to make money. To fight for a legislation that we, you know, you know, defined this app company job, we cannot continue like this. I always thinking that we that were educated, we find it difficult to be in one accord. Somebody will just wake up today. I want to form my association. When they form that association, maybe one or two years, they will think that ah, it's not easy to run the association because nobody will give you money. Nobody will pay you dues. Nobody. Like what we have been doing since 2016 to this present time, before our union gets to this level, nobody pay us dues. They don't pay us any dues. We use our money. We use our energy. We use our time. We use our investment. We use everything to, we have to keep on pushing uh, this uh, union. And what our company is looking for is the downfall of us so that they can continue to, you know, you know, matching us and treat us badly. I can, the, our company will not care about your life, about your car, about your investment. In Lagos State alone, you have more than 30,000 drivers. Imagine, let's say one driver have 2.5 million naira on their platform, multiple 2.5 million naira by 30 uh, uh, drivers. We are talking about billions of naira. We that we provide billions of naira into Uber platform, into both platform, are we not? Ask yourself honestly, are we not have power to know what is going on there? I'm not talking about have power to move from one app to another hub because they are all the same. They use the same template. They use a, a Uber template. There is no difference about what they are doing unless there is a law that say okay this is how this industry will operate but now there is no law that really come after them so it's very difficult when i hear some uh, group of drivers asking some app company that they want to you know have uh, an uh, agreement with them if i told you have an agreement when the person has money when they have money without legislation that can truly you know protect what we need them without labor law that will really tell you how they need to treat you as an, somebody that is working with them. 
whether be you independent contractor, be you an employ, employee or employer, be you whatever, there must be a policy that will spell out what responsibility of everybody. If out of that responsibility is the responsibility of the law to cast after you, but now we don't have that. If you if you watch our forum that we did therefore yesterday when the john from kenya was elaborate that when they want to take uber to court in kenya they are told them that they cannot take uber into uh, kenya court unless they went to the amsterdam to which is head office of uber before they can you know sue them to court so if there's a legislation in kenya that spell it out how the uber will be running automatically they can be able to you know Go by that law but there's no law now my brother from kenya vivi uh, my brother from uh, ghana vivi he, he made mention it that even the, the the people that they want to regulate this their industry in ghana they did not even understand how the operations works likewise in nigeria too most of our legislature did not even un understand the way our industry is running that's why we have problem with the uh, regulation in lagos state most of the People that call them their regulators in Lagos State did not really understand the way and manner the industry is being run. And they don't listen to people like us that we really run the business with all these app companies. These are the challenges we have in Nigeria. And if things are not done in a proper way, we will still compile our problem. For example, what are the legislation? For example, what are the leg legislation Lagos State is making? What are the provisions are they making? For a driverless cars, for electronic cars, because they are coming. Before 2025, now you will see the driverless car in the streets of Lagos. In fact, I saw one when uh, one of the news uh, video that I watched when everybody was looking at it, the driverless cars. So if you bring out the driverless car, do you want to still put last man the way they are operating manually now? Do you want to put national? There won't be a training. There won't be an uh, counter, you know knowledge of how you you know tailor the driverless cars or you are talking about an electronic car you are talking about electronic cars are the all these last man uh, fis or what have you are they trained towards all these things we are still running locomotive way of operations it's high time our government both in state and federal level to look into the hub uh, 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 companies to look into technology driving economy, which is gigi economy, to you know enact a law and bring out a policy that will suit this economy. This is a multi-billion dollars economy, but the Nigeria government and the state are looking at it like a peanut because they don't really understand how these things functions. For example, in Uber alone, our data is monitored, and a lot of they used for us to run around. Is something for us. We don't understand that. If not, say thank God with the, the people in UK that they took Uber to the uh, uh, court in, in, in Netherlands for a data, uh, 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 you know, understanding. So you see, these are the way that these people are making a lot of money out of our uh, sweats, even without knowing, knowing it or knowing it. Most of driver will be arguing with you. Leave there now. If it's not okay, uh, you can leave there and move to another platform. Imagine when people say that, I always laugh because how can you tell me that I should leave a platform to another platform? Which platform I want to go to? The platform that Uber will bring down the price to two hundred naira, and that platform cannot be able to withstand the, the pressure in the market. If no matter how much they pump into that market, they will not be able to stand. So it's better we we we, we finish the issue of the grassroots problem which from uber to any other platform uber tricked me to go and buy cars to their platform with millions of naira. i bought the car you, you you don't you don't care about how to repay the the the, 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 the loan back to the where wherever I, I i borrowed the money so they trick you to come in and you are now saying that if, if we, uber is not okay why can't you go to another platform which platform today my brother giddy come to this platform Giddy come to this platform today. Where is Giddy? Good ride come to this platform today. Where is Good ride today? Oga Taxi come to this platform. Where is Oga Taxi today? So many are still coming. Where are they today? Many will still plan now to come in. Where they want to be tomorrow? So there must be what we need to do now 
and unify ourselves is to fight the policy that will make everybody that come to this uh, industry make money. And apart from that, there must be a yardstick for commission for God's sake. I don't see reason why any hard company will take more than 10 percent. 10 percent is even too much, but let's start from 10 percent. I don't see reason why any hub will not be able to take that, despite the fact that have opportunity to our data, opportunity to many things. So, price mechanism. I don't see reason why the hard company cannot agree through the driver representatives or union of the drivers to put out a price mechanism that will fair for everybody. Because you don't buy cars and don't care about me, you can carry any amount of money you carry. That's why you see many riders turn against the drivers. We support to all the riders, but all these are company, they have turned the rider against us because of insincerity, because of low price, because of integrity. They turn the rider against us. Whatever the mistake our company make, they will turn it to the, to the drivers. Whatever the problem they created, they will turn it to the driver. So we need to be sensitive and we need to be sensible. We need to understand that this is high time. We need to come together as a unified, as a shakeable body. And uh, we are now appealing to everybody in respect of association you may be, you know, belong to. Juniors accepted you to come and join and obey the rules and regulations. And then we march together and do these things as a one family, a one big family. When we finish, when, when we get the correct pricing mechanism, when you get correct commission, when we get the time and how this operation is being done, all went good. Everybody will not even look for who is this, who is that again. But what we are talking today is for us to be able to achieve to this industry. And how do we achieve? It's very, very simple and depends on the way. First, we have to be, there must be a unity. And there must be a trust. There must be a trust and there must be a support financially. And there must be a time that everybody will provide to fight for this struggle. It's very, very important. If you don't have money, you don't have time, you don't have energy, there is no way we can achieve this. Because there are going to be a time, physically, we fight together. From Lagos to Abuja, from Abuja to Benin, from Benin to Ibadan, from Ibadan to Kano, to every part of Cross River, Akwai Bon, Port Harcourt, every part of the Nigeria, we need to come together. We need to slay ourselves. We need to fight as a family. And then we need to forget about whatever anybody do to us, whatever the, the problem of anybody, whatever the anybody is doing, whatever, whatever, whatever. But we must separate our fight. If you want to be app owner, go and be to the app owner. If you want to fight as a driver, come and be with drivers. You cannot be in the two space. You cannot be in the two space. That one will not help us. So you have to define what and what you want to do. So these are the areas that we want to tell every one of us here in Nigeria today that this is our time. All of us need to come together. And this is our time. We need to tell our government that they need to enact a law to do nation and do everything possible to make sure that the gigi economy started working and working fine and the law backing it up. We submitted a letter to the National Assembly since last year. We did not hear anything from it. The Lagos state regulation is still ongoing. And we have told them that if they don't do that regulation in the ways that we favor a driver partners in Lagos state, we resist it. Whether some people are going there because of whatever. I told people that you know doesn't look for rec rec recognitions. You know doesn't look for recognition. What kind of recognition that we junior will want to look for? Well, they told me that some people are going there to look for recognition. Which recognition did the union want to look for? Union doesn't look for recognition. The government look for the union. And the union will be and do this part. Our duty and function is the welfare of our member. And to be defend our member every day, every time. And that the purpose of unionism is for us to go in unity, to go and fight for our rights, for them to obey the labor law, for them to obey the Nigeria constitution for them to obey the woman rights uh, uh, constitution, woman rights feeling 
to, for them to you know protect our in integrity and uh, to allow our dignity to fly and for us to make more money that's what we are saying we bought our car we have provided office for ourselves unlike the way of traditional way of employing people which they will not even go there with anything we have our own car for god's sake that one has put more than 70 body eight, 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 eight problem out of the app company why are they not secure us why are they not reason with us why are they not call off of what will affect us we will not accept individualism of a thing anymore and then we want our government to do something to it and then we should know that whatever we do today is a nice street tomorrow these are the areas that we are telling our government and then we are telling our members that we should come together in unity we should have a board that will comprise us together which we have already put in place now national union of professional art based worker this is only body that will unify all the association all the admins all 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 everybody talk of whatever you take the head of any group you come together together and join force with the union national union of professional art based workers which is no part we pray that everything works for us 2021 and then we pray that what happened 2020 should not repeat in 2021. We pray that many of us that lose their cars in 2021, God will provide another car for them. And then we pray that most of us, most of the people that lose their families to this job, God will you know, give them the you know, power and ability to bear the, the loss. And uh, we, 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 we pray for those people that they lost, lost their life towards this job. I mean, God Almighty, forgive their sins and, uh, you know, help their family that they left behind. As they remain comrade, Ayuade Ibrahim, the national president of app based worker, the national president of National Union of Professional app based worker. No part. We pray that we see everybody in 2021 and that we pray that our safety will be more improved. 2021 and solidarity forever. Thank you. God bless every one of us.